All right, so that's everybody that's on the call right now. Very good. Okay, so let me answer some of the questions that you guys had. Um, Kirby, I'm sorry, not Kirby. Uh, Rick, <laughs> let's yeah. start with yours. If I remember, if I remember correctly, it was the price objection you're having trouble overcoming that, right? Yeah, there's that, and basically, like one of the other people said, there, it's gotten to a point where I've not necessarily exhausted all of the people that I know that are either on Facebook or wherever I find them. But um, I, I'd like to know what your, uh, you know, your idea would be of just digging up new prospects that, uh, you know, that not, aren't necessarily on uh, Facebook that I can meet at the university, be it a student or what have you. And how would you go okay. about that? I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. All right. I'm definitely best on social media, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But as far as offline stuff, the best thing that I've seen anybody do is just wear and share. Wear a P90X shirt and just walk around <laughs> or just do whatever you do when you go out and people are going to stop you. I was out with uh, fellow admin Melissa who was visiting this past week. We went out to this place called The Grand Movie here. It's a night out, um, enjoying ourselves, relaxing, whatever. Not even going there to do beach party. But uh, we did beach party while we were out. People were asking us. They saw the, the shirt, they recognize the name brand, and um, you know, added some contacts that way. It was great, and uh, we didn't have any time to do Beachbody. So that's one really cool thing about particular company is that we got the number one name brands. We're like the Kleenex of home fitness. Everybody knows us. <laughs> um, we're associated with fitness. So um, P90X is the number one all-time infomercial ever for any industry, not just fitness. It is the most successful infomercial ever created, and it's ours. You can leverage that and build our list off that way just through wear and share. Um, Brazil Butt Lift has been number one, and Sanity is number one. I think that's number one right now, actually. And Sanity Turbo Fire has been number one. There's like seven or eight number one infomercials that they've created. And at any given time, there's always like three or four in the top ten. So we're always out there. We're always in people's faces. So leverage that. And I think, uh, in my opinion, that's, that's the best way. Um, other than that, just it, it might come up naturally in conversations. It might not. Who knows? So when it does come up, what I like to do, whether it's online or offline, I just say, hey, you know, I've got this um, fitness challenge group. It's a private group on Facebook, and I've only got time for a few more people that I can responsibly de devote enough time to helping. So um, would you like to know more about that before I close this, this, group, this private group for fitness support and accountability and problem solving? More times than not, they're interested. They'll say, yeah, okay, why not? And then uh, I just grab their contact info. I don't get into the details there. I don't have over-the-fence style conversations because typically what happens with that if you start talking too much is uh, you're going to give them enough information to not be interested. And um, right. there's, there's, sort of a, uh, there's sort of a balancing act. They're not going to have enough to really get the full scope, but they're going to have enough to maybe not be interested and go to GNC or, get, or shake with fillers in it and all that stuff. So it doesn't do them a service, doesn't do you a service. You just got to get uh, create the eager desire in them to want to lead you their contact info and then leave with their contact info. And if you're busy, you got to get somewhere. That's a great opportunity to say, hey, I'm stretched for time. I've got an appointment to pick up my kids. Or, or, so i got to go. Leave me your name, number, Facebook page on the back of this card. Write it down quick so i got a jet. And then in the next day or two when I have a few minutes, I will get back to you. Sounds cool. And they're probably going to say, sounds cool. And they'll start writing. That's, that's how I would do it offline. Um, okay. Online, I talked a lot about this last week, and this is something that I should probably talk about regularly because you guys, for the most part, are brand new. But this is like the foundation of building your business. Is, well, first it's your fitness, but as far as like, prospecting goes, you've got to talk to new people regularly. On Facebook, it is so easy to talk to a lot of people in a very short amount of time compared to offline. So it takes me less than 10 minutes to talk to 20 new people on Facebook. And if I do that every day, I'm spending less than 10 minutes a day, seven days a week. I talk to 140 new people, and a lot of them are going to friend up with me, and I'm building my list. And then all these people are going to see every, uh, all the stuff that I share on Facebook. So you got to talk to new people. And the best way to do that is to just go to your profile view, click on Friends, and in the upper right just off center, you'll see the Find Friends button. You click on that, and Facebook gives you an endless supply of, friend, of people that you're not friends with yet. And this will bring me to answering someone else's question. I don't remember who it was. But um, if you're friends with a lot of Beachbody people and maybe the, the most recent people you've friended up with are Beachbody people, 
then Facebook has a tendency to show you people within that circle of beach body. So then you run into this problem of, oh no, everyone's beach body, and you can't prospect them because that wouldn't be cool. You don't want to step on toes and be a poacher. So um, what you got to do is just scroll down until you see people that look like they're not associated with beach body. Or a quicker way, you go to the left side, and if you're looking at it right now, it might be helpful, but it's pretty easy. On um, the left side, you're going to be able to filter out your search. There's a, a section for hometown, current city, high school, uh, mutual friends, um, college or university, employer, graduate school. Um, so you can do searches for anything like college or university, something in there. And odds are it's, it, you might see one or two people that are, that are clearly Beachbody people, but most of them probably aren't going to be Beachbody people. Or employer is a good one. You could do, uh, I don't know, Costco or Walmart, something that employs bunches and bunches of people. Then odds are most of them aren't going to be associated with Beachbody or somebody who's already a Beachbody coach. And just start toying with those filters and just get a little creative with that, I guess. You can do location. Um, that's, that's an easy, easy one. Just pick out a populated area on the map. Maybe not uh, an area in Southern California because that's pretty crowded with Beachbody people, but you know somewhere else and just start to get creative with that. And then once you start friending up and building new friend connections with people that have nothing to do with Beachbody, then um, Facebook is going to start showing you more people that have nothing to do with, with Beachbody because your circle, your network is changing. And Facebook likes to show you friends that are relevant to the kinds of friends that you've been friending up with. So then it starts to get easier. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do those filters. And you can just go up and down the line. Open up 10 new tabs, talk to 10 new people. Open up another 10 tabs, talk to 10 new people. And before you know it, you just talk to 20 new people who probably aren't associated with Beachbody. Not a bad thing. Mm. So does that answer that question? Yeah, sure does. That's great. That's, that's right now, I'm people. <laughs> yeah. How about how about the person? I'm sorry that I forgot who asked that question. How about the person who asked specifically asked that question about Facebook suggesting nothing but beach body people? Did, did that help? That was me. That helped. That helps to filter them yeah. out. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Let's see. So, and then from there, uh, I really don't add more Beachbody people because of that problem. It just makes it so much easier. Now, Facebook has a subscribe feature. If you're a Beachbody coach who's sending you a friend request and they're not in your team or downline or whatever, then uh, you can say, "Hey, it's awesome to meet you, um, but can you send? Uh, can you subscribe to me and set? I'll subscribe to you, and that way we can still follow each other and post and comment and all that stuff. It's still going to be just the same. You're just not officially friends." So that subscription feature is pretty cool. In fact, I have to use it. I don't have a choice. I'm at the, the limit, 5,000. So my subscription count is going up by the hundreds now because of that, which is you know, it's a cool thing too. So not a bad deal at all. And then the price objection. That's right. Okay, that's probably going to be the most common thing that you hear. And um, Rick, I love how you just let him down that pathway by asking him questions and uh, instead of making statements. Because right away, we have a tendency to go on the, on the defensive, and I think more times than not, that just turns people off making statements going on the defensive, even if we're right. <laughs> they they yeah. probably aren't going to see it that way. So you just went down this path of questions. So that's awesome. And an easier way of doing that, uh, in my opinion, it's going um, to be step number two of the five-step invite process. Uh, step number two, you're asking them about their goals and their reasons for having their goals. And I want you guys to understand something. When you're talking to somebody, asking them questions about their goals, that the goal really means absolutely nothing without the why behind it. So why do you want to lose weight? What's that going to do for you? Tell me more about that. Get into the root issue there. Maybe it's a confidence thing, which is usually the case. Maybe somebody wants to have the energy to play with their kids or their grandkids. You know, there's going to be some emotional reason behind it. So don't stop at the goal. You've got to dig deep and find out. Tell me more about that. What's that going to do for you? What's life going to look like when we solve that problem? And then you got yeah. that. And then when the, when the price objection comes up, you can simply you can simply say, well, is four dollars a day a worthwhile investment so that you can lose weight and gain the energy that you need to play with your kids? That's it. That is uh, yeah, my experience. Absolutely. In my experience, absolutely. that is the most effect, effective way to handle any objection. It could be time, money. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're feeling a little bit lazy. They don't know if they can put out the effort or they don't know if they're disciplined enough. Well, is this important enough for you to be disciplined, what you just told me? So you're creating a setup when you're asking people questions about their goals and why their goals are so important to them. You're creating a, a setup for them to frame in their mind that their reason for doing something like this is just more important than whatever it is that's been holding them back in the past. And that's how you bring people into this. Because people are waiting. Whenever there's a transaction involved, whether it be with us or they go to 
Best Buy to pick up a stereo. I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is. People are always weighing. There's like a there's like a a, a balance in their head. They're weighing um, the cost to the value or what they're going to get out of it. In this case, yep. they're weighing maybe the price or the cost of effort and sweating every day <laughs> to yep. if it's worth it for their for their why and which one's going to win. I mean, they got to have. A, a big why. The reason why you want to ask those questions about the goal and why it's so important, tell me more about that, is because you want their reason to outweigh anything else, any problem, any excuse that they've used in the past that's kept them overweight, unhappy, low self-esteem, and all that other stuff, man. They've got to have a really powerful reason why they want to do it, or those negative feelings are going to creep back up, and they're going to be bigger, and they're going to win. So that just you have to bring those reasons out into the front of their mind so they sell themselves. So you're basically creating the framework in their brain simply by asking those questions for them to sell themselves. And you're just asking questions and, and making a recommendation. That's it. And you know, it's a great question after you do step two, which is getting to their why, is is four dollars a day a worthwhile investment so that you can lose weight to get on the floor and play with your kids without being out of breath? Is four dollars a day or, or a challenge pack for $160? worthwhile for you to possibly reverse your type 2 diabetes and possibly save off losing a limb that you said you're so afraid of? Is that worth it for you? Most people are going to say, most people are not going to say, no, that's not worth it. They might say, I don't have the money right now, but my God, I got to do this. And you say, yeah. great. Well, I got my calendar out. Get your calendar out. Pick a day that works best for you. I'll put it down on my calendar and we'll get back in touch then. We'll get this thing ordered so that you can begin to lose that weight so that you can look great in that wedding dress and the pictures that are going to be around for eternity <laughs> by the wedding that takes place a couple months from now or whatever whatever it is. Sure. And then and then you just make the appointments. And, uh, you know, a really great suggestion because a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck and they're not going to have the money right up front, even if they really, truly, sincerely want it. Um, you, you can make the suggestion, put $4 a day away into an envelope. And in a month, you'll have the money. Or $10 a day for shorter amount of days and they'll have the money and um, or borrow it from somebody or, or whatever. Typically, if somebody wants it bad enough, they'll find a way to get it even more quickly than that. It's pretty amazing how many oh, people I, I agree. That they, they absolutely don't have the money and this and that, and then I frame the question in their mind so they sell themselves and suddenly they come up with the money. I don't know if they borrowed it or if they did some work for somebody for 10 bucks an hour, which is how I personally got started. Who knows? But they tend to come up with the money. So, um, and uh, so, so that's it. Um, step two is the most important part of this whole process of bringing somebody into this because they've got to be able to sell themselves and you sort of facilitate that just by asking questions about their why and then attaching uh, the question to their why. Is $4 a day worthwhile so you can da 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 And that's it. Hmm. Makes sense, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions on that? No, that's... That's excellent. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that tomorrow. As a matter of fact, with this one person I'm thinking about. So good. Uh, another I'll thing, you know, say if, you, if if they if they keep going with more more stuff, more excuses, um, and more argu somebody might get argumentative, uh, GNC and all this other stuff, and they're pulling out the science and the ingredients and blah 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 blah. Uh, the best rebuttal to any kind of fact-based um, argument. Mm -hmm or whatever they're saying that's sort of fact-based, whether it's true or not, is I don't know about that. All I know is someone said did Shakeology. She lost a bunch of weight. She's, uh, her blood sugars are under control, and she's feeling really happy. So I think you're probably going to have favorable success too, don't you think? That's it. I always, I always do that instead of arguing facts. So this is so important, especially as a, as a new person. We tend to want to fight fire with fire, and that doesn't work. Don't go back and forth about the facts with people, even if you know what you're talking about and the other person doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, you, you don't. You don't. You story sell real stories that people have. Something that's measurable. You know, if somebody reverses their diabetes. They go from an A1C of 10.0 to below 6.0. That's pretty cool. Somebody drops 50 points in, in their cholesterol in a couple months. That's pretty cool. I don't know about that. All I know is, so and so drops. Uh, 60 points in his cholesterol in 60 days on Shakeology and, and doing TurboCam. You should try this, don't you think? Yeah. That's Great excellent. rebuttal. Yeah, and I'll, you would I'll think that the logical person, or even the, the quasi-logical, would say, yeah, that makes sense. And uh, and then there's sometimes, uh, there's sometimes where I, 
I've run into that, and no matter how much logic you use, they'll say, well, I don't know, I don't know. And I, I, I don't know. I, personally, I just say, okay, well, it seems that you're, you need a little time to think about this, so I'll just come back to later if you'd like, or you have my number. You uh, give, me any, give me a call or send me an email when you think you're ready. Because after a while, it just feels like you're just beating the dead horse. Yeah, you, you don't want to be the dead horse. You don't want to twist anybody's arm. You don't want to high pressure anybody and do all that all that garbage. Uh, what I usually do when it, when I feel like okay, it's a dead end. This person just isn't ready, and I say, hey, when you're ready in your own time, I'm here. Just let me know. And when you say that to somebody, it's really refreshing because when they're talking to uh, most people that have experiences in being prospected, usually there's some arm twisting going on, and you know all these things that make people like me have to ever even defend network marketing because of all the sleaziness that goes on out there. So if somebody's yeah. just not ready right now, even if they're defying all logic, it doesn't matter if it's illogical or not. If they don't sell it to themselves, they're not ready in their own time, they ain't doing it. So you just got to let them know, when you're ready in your own time, I'd love to do this with you. Just let me know. I am here. And then Sounds great. move on and keep talking to new people. That person is safely in your Tumblr. When they're ready to make a change, they're going to remember you. You're going to be the last choice. And um, honestly... Most people that have signed up with me, either as a coach or a customer or whatever, they heard that that uh, um, they they heard exactly that come out of my mouth or my typing fingers. When you're ready in your own time, I'm here. So, because most people aren't going to sign up the first time they hear about it, they need to think. It's a big decision to make. I mean, it was probably a big decision for most of you. You probably didn't sign up the first time you heard about it. So be understanding of that, and uh, yeah. let them know that when they're ready in their own time, you're here. You're going to be there for them. They they will see you as a logical choice versus somebody else that might have tried to twist their arm. <laughs> Absolutely. That's not a bad thing. Um, another thing you can try, if you just feel like somebody has been dragging their feet for years and they're just talking and in the meantime their life is getting worse and all this other stuff, uh, you know, depending on if you feel it's appropriate or not, and it's like, man, I've got to speak some truth into this person's life, you can always just say, hey, if nothing changes and things keep getting worse, what is going to happen to your family one year from now if nothing changes? And get them thinking about that, and oh my, oh my God, that would be terrible. Well, are you ready now so that that scenario doesn't have to happen? And uh, that might be the thing. Another thing you can say is, how serious are you about your desire to be a better example for your kids? Mm -hmm. And usually they'll say, I'm very serious. Great. Here's my website. There. Good. Click on, and then guide them through it. And. As, as new people, this is especially valuable for you. Um, you can just invite them on a three-way phone call with myself, Melissa, Mike Thompson, any of the admins. So you don't really have to go through that process of, you know, trying to share this with somebody or, or close somebody. You know, you create the exposure, create the, the interest so they want to know more. And at that point, you could simply set up a three-way call. I'd like you to talk to, I'd like to talk to, I'd like you to talk to my, my team leader, my friend, whatever, Tom. He's really knowledgeable. He's super easy to talk to, really nice guy. And um, I think that you're going to benefit a lot if you talk to Tom because I'm brand new. I just started, and the results that, that's happening in this company is pretty phenomenal, which is why I got in this and I, I thought of you. So what day works best for you and what time? And just uh, don't even ask at that point if, if they want to. So you want to talk to them? <laughs> don't, don't say that. Just uh, yeah. lead with the expectation that they want to get on the phone so they can have their questions answered, and so they can get closer to where they want to be and uh, maybe get out of, out of a situation that they're not very happy in. Just, you know, edify whoever you're going to set the three-way phone conversation up with is very helpful, easygoing. There is no pressure. When I signed up, nobody twisted my arm. It was my call. It was so cool, and that's why I'm doing this and sharing it with you. So what day works best for you? I'm free this day of time, this day of time, this day of time. Which one works best for you? And I'll, I'll get in touch with my, with my uh, leader or my friend or whatever, and we'll do this call so we can answer your questions. That's how you want to set up three way phone calls. And then at that point okay. you get to you get to listen to us. You're on the phone, you're basically gonna introduce us and then be quiet. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna take you're, you're gonna take you're you're gonna take notes. I mean there's gonna be a path and I'm gonna lead this person down, asking questions and things like that, and I don't want you deviating the person from this path. So you're just gonna be quiet, take notes, and it's gonna be a learning experience. You're gonna observe the kind of questions, how I handle objections and all that sort of stuff. The closing question that I ask, you know. Um, that's a great educational op opportunity, like hands-on in the field. Just get people in front of me, or Melissa or Mike, and then be quiet and take notes, and you'll learn so much, really. 
Excellent. So those are different. Those are different things you can try. I hope you guys are all taking notes on this, and um, it's, it's being recorded so you can review it and take better notes and refine them later. Because the stuff I'm talking about, guys, is so so helpful, and it, it works. And speaking from experience, I'm not a college professor that never built a business teaching how to build a business. I'm I'm in the field doing it, so I'm telling you what works. <laughs> so yeah. take notes and uh, listen to the call and, and just review it. As uh, repetition is the mother of all learning. Someone here said they listen to the same audiobook like three or four times. I do that too. <laughs> it's the only way it sinks in. And, um, and, and, and by the way, when you're listening to the same audiobook or reading the same book over and over and over and over again, because it's just a really great one, you're going to pick up different things each time. But most importantly, it's going to start to become part of your subconscious and your language is actually going to start to change so that you speak mm-hmm. more fluently with people. And that's a very good thing. That was my little tangent. So um, I'm just opening it up for Q&A now. You've got some questions for me. I think. Any questions? In order, uh, this is Rick again. In order to um, achieve diamond, you need two. It's it's my understanding that you need two emerald coaches underneath you. Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, this group, obviously, the focus is going to be emerald and turning a profit, and then diamond. We're going to shoot for next, bypassing ruby. Yeah, you need to sponsor personally sponsor two emeralds, one on each leg, and you also need three um, active coaches in addition to that on each leg. So you got a total okay. of eight active coaches, four on each leg. At least one of them is an emerald, one emerald on each leg. And then you also have okay. to have personal volume of uh, 100, I believe, or 110, something like that. So a little bit more than right. what Shakeology is worth. Right. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, you bet. So no big deal on that. So you guys, uh, the best way that you're going to get to diamond after emerald is going to be to simply invite people into the profit group. And the invitation is this. Um, hey, I know you've been... Uh, I, I know you're looking for a better way to, to earn money because you're in debt and all these things are going on. Well, I'm, I'm part of this profit group, this 30 Days to Profit group, and people that get in it and follow directions are getting paid. We had a couple people uh, make some money, 100, over $100 the, the first week of this profit group that I'm in. So I, went, I thought of you, and I wanted to invite you. Would you like to know more about that? And again, you're not shutting it down your throat. You're just asking their permission. You created the invitation with a story, people that get in, follow directions, getting paid, a couple of them within the first week on over $100. Would you like to know more about that? So that's, that's the format. And you can invite, if you've already brought people into this, you can invite uh, coaches that you've already brought in, and you can invite uh, prospects, maybe someone sitting on the fence. You can invite any, anybody you want to. And, um, and the deadline, uh, leverage that deadline to create some urgency. The next one starts November 1st, so the deadline is November 1st. They've got to get in now. And the closing question could be simple. It could be, would you like to get in now and start coming out of debt now, or, or, or would you like to put off coming out of debt for later? <laughs> I yeah. suppose you could, you could shorten that. You could say, okay, you told me what's really important to you, so do you want to start getting out of debt now or later? That would be the simple way to do it. <laughs> I yeah. tend to not add extra words, but sometimes I do, so i got to work on that. But... Um, so even even I always have room for improvement. But yeah, I think the best way to, to close it is, hey, you want to start getting out of debt now or later? Deadline November first. Let me know. I think I'm it's a great question. A guy on to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, you can also do that for uh, somebody that, that has no interest in making money. Things are fine there, and they just want to get healthy, and they're looking at a challenge pack for these really important reasons that they want to get healthy. Do you want to start losing weight now or later? Do you want to start gaining, uh, reclaiming your health now or later? Do you want to start uh, gaining control of your regularity now or later? Do you want to start uh, reducing your flare-ups from your fibromyalgia now or later? Yeah. It's a great closing question. Um, it's very blessing and releasing. If they're not ready now, it gives them an out. <laughs> and if they're not ready right now, cool. Then in your own time, when you're ready to do this, I am here for you. Just let me know. Great. And you can even make the, the note to follow up, up with them again, maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month down the road. They haven't gotten back to you yet. Maybe just checking on you, seeing how you're doing. But that's, that, that, that is my favorite closing question, is to just give them an out. But it also, at, at the same time, it's leading, too. I mean, who wants to wait to get out of debt later? 
who wants to wait to lose weight later? Most people are going to say, yeah, I want to start now. Yeah, definitely. So do you guys like that closing question? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is there anybody that doesn't like it? <laughs> so everybody likes it. I like it. Cool. Yeah. I like can that. can you guys can you guys see yourself asking somebody that? Can you see yourself asking questions about their why? I mean, first their goal, and then and then their why behind the goal, because the goal is useless without knowing what it means to them. So, can you see yourself asking those questions? What's your goal? Lose weight. Tell me more about that. Why is that important to you? And then, can you see yourself asking after you know you go through the process and asking, do you want to start losing weight now so you gain more energy and have the energy to play with your kids now or or later? Yes, I can see that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, most Hope definitely. Hope you see that. Good. Most definitely. All right. All right, cool. All right. So this week, um, I want you guys, if you haven't done it already, it's part of the homework that Melissa gave out, is to go to the Coach Online Trading Academy, get your certificate, and we'll give you props in the group like we've done for a few people already. And uh, last week's call, I, I focused mainly on finding people. So if you're finding people the way that I've suggested to do it, and I gave you three little scripts you can use, common ones, I'll go over it again really quickly right now. Um, finding people. Go to your profile view, click on friends, find friends, and start talking to 20 new people a day. Minimum 10, but go for 20. And in you know, seven days, you've talked to about 140 or 70 if you did the minimum. You're going to have some friends. You're going to have new connections. And um, more people are going to be exposed to what you're sharing on, on your Facebook wall. Okay. And uh, speaking of your Facebook wall, just to review what I went over last week because it's so important. You've got to post one success story. You can do another one, but at least one, um, of, of somebody that achieved something or some victory over, over a challenge. They lost some weight. Their diabetes is under control, whatever it is. They came out of debt. I don't know, but just something and then edify that person in your own words. Brag about them. Give them props. Because everybody in network marketing copies and pastes success stories and source, and that's all they do. So take that one little minimal extra step of doing that, but then bragging about the person in your own words. You're going to stand out amongst almost everybody else, and you'll attract more attention. You'll create more of an eager desire in people to ask you about that thing, and that's what you want. And then the other thing you want to share at least once every day on your wall is uh, post a great question that gets the conversation going, that gets some interaction going. I posted something in our team thread, or actually no, it was in, in, in the larger group on Facebook, the profit group. Um, my gift to you it started out as. It was th uh, three little steps. Uh, download a text file that had like 100 and something great questions. You can just you know, randomly cherry pick one every day to post on your wall so you don't even have to think of the great question because I – I went out and I actually spent money on buying all those questions. And uh, so, so just do that. I made a little video explaining how it works and why it's working and all that stuff. But you want to do that every day. Talk to 20 people, minimum 10 new people. Uh, post a success story, brag about the person, give them props, and post a really great question on your wall. Just do those three things every day. That's what I went over last week. So for this week, brand new. I would like you to start sending out the invitations of the five-step process. Just go to step number one. Um, I'll make sure that you guys got it. I'm going to post it in our little team thread there on the group. Um, step number one is simply, um, it, it's worded something like this. Uh, hey, I have a private, face, uh, a private group on Facebook for fitness support and problem-solving accountability. Uh, I've only got time for a couple more people before I close it. Would you like to know more about that before I close it? So that's a really safe thing to send to people. Um, I almost never get anybody that's just rude in, in response. I think it's happened twice. And when you consider the thousands of invitations I've sent out, I've got to say that's a pretty awesome script. And then, you know, the ones that, that are really negative, I just remove them. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't respond. Um, but it's a great thing to send to people. So how this is going to work with uh, inviting people is uh, by now, if you follow directions from last week and you've been posting a great question on your Facebook wall and a success story and bragging about the person and talking to 20 mm -hmm. or, or 10 people every day, then you should have some activity on your wall. So at this point, you should be able to just go up and down your wall and just copy and paste step one of the five-step process. You could have 10, 20, 50, 100, hundreds of people that you could invite just from that. 
And the cool thing about this method is that these people are already interacting with you. They already have a favorable impression of you most likely. So they're going to be probably a little bit more um, friendly about it. Um, so they're probably going to write you back and say, hey, thanks for thinking about me. I get that a lot. Sure, send me more info. And then we move on to step number two, which is you're asking about their why. But I don't want you to worry so much about step number two yet. Um, just do, focus on the step number one and get those invitations out there. Um, and then when, when, when people write back, if you're stuck, just give me a call. Put a shout out in the group. That's a, a pretty cool thing to do because then every, everybody can see it and um, everybody can learn from that example. So um, just you know, start, start doing that. This week I really want you guys to keep doing those three daily core activities, talking to new people, posting a success story, and um, posting a great question. But I want you to get to that now, sending out invitations to people. Just go up and down your wall. You've been doing those, um, those three things every day, so you should have some people that you can send invitations to. And not just them, but um, anybody that you think of that, could use, uh, that might be interested in a, a way to get healthy. And, um, and keep in mind, if you're nervous or shy about, I don't know, you think you're invading people's space and inviting them to something like this, Keep in mind, the way that this is worded, you're not shoving anything in their face. You're getting their permission to send them something. I mean, the question at the end of that short little script is, would you like to know more about that? So you're creating an, an eager desire for them to know something about that in, in a couple sentences, and then like the third or fourth sentence or whatever it is, it closes with that question, would you like to know more about that? And because the first couple sentences focuses on creating that eager desire, um, you're going to get a lot of people that I'd like to know more about that. And then you move on to step two. Or if you're not sure what to do, you get in the group or, or contact Melissa, Mike, or, or myself, and we'll help you with that with, um, with going forward. We might have you do a three-way call with us with that person so you don't have to do anything. So be quiet and take notes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. So can, can everybody do that? Can you start inviting people? Copy, paste step one? Yeah, definitely. All right, cool. You can go through you can go through your address book. If there's people that you only keep in touch with on regular email, you can do it on Facebook, private message. Don't put don't copy and paste step one in like a Facebook status up. Whatever you do, don't do that. But uh, something that you could share in a Facebook status update is a story of somebody that had success in a challenge group. You could say, Wow, our challenge group is smoking. Sally Sue Joe Jesse just lost her 20th pound in this 90-day challenge. Stubborn stat that she said she wasn't able to lose in 20 years, but she did it here. She feels awesome. Private message me or click like if you would like to know more about my private group. And if you've been doing your daily three core activities every day, then odds are you're going to get some likes and you're going to get some people asking about that. And then there you go. You're a human lead generator. And you did it for free. <laughs> Instead of spending four or five bucks on a lead, you just did it for free just, just by doing that. It's pretty awesome. You guys, I, uh, something I want you to realize how cool this is, the, the, this day of age. Um, if you wanted a global reach, say, 10, 20, 30 years ago, you had to spend tens of thousands of dollars, maybe millions. We have a global reach for free on Facebook. In my opinion, everything is just about perfect for a completely broke, destitute person to make millions and billions of dollars because of social media alone. That's, that's my feeling on that. We have the same reach as everybody else. We have the same reach as Walmart. Pretty neat. That's never happened before. Even when the Internet was first around, that wasn't the case. But with social media, it is. Pretty awesome. So I, know. I just uh, want to make sure you guys are aware of how great things are right now. I don't care what people say about the recession <laughs> or the economy. Yeah. In, in, two, in 2010, that was our, the official year of our recession. And my income went up over 700% while most people were losing. So this business is pretty awesome. I can't tell you how many times the naysayers are like, oh, not in this economy. Nobody can afford a $120 shake. Well, I don't know about that. All I know is when we went through a recession, my income jumped by over 700%. You should get into this, don't you think? Yeah. I'm not going to argue the yeah, facts with people like that. That's pretty hard to deny that one. You can't. That's my. That, that's why you don't want to really cross that line from truth to facts. You want to stick to your truth because it belongs to you. Nobody can argue it. Yeah. When you start getting into when you start getting into facts, all of that can be argued, even if the other person doesn't know anything that that, that they're talking about. 
and more times than not, that's usually the case. They don't know what they're talking about, and you just lost a customer or a coach because they just want to be ignorant. <laughs> so, so that that's that's a perfect example. And um, you know, that's uh, you guys can leverage my story. You all know me now, and if you want to get to know me more than you already do, then I don't know, give me a call, private message me. But you can tell people, my my buddy Tom. I don't know about this economy stuff. All I know is my buddy Tom. In 2010, supplies his income in this home-based business. I mean, shakes you say nobody can afford buy it. He must come by over 700 percent in, the, in a, during a recession. And my buddy Tom, when he got into this, he was flat broke. He didn't have a job. He had no income coming in whatsoever, no unemployment benefits, and uh, he got in this anyway. It, w- it would have been too expensive for him not to get in. I mean, my God, there's there's so many stories out there of people that you can leverage to relate to people. Somebody believes they can't get in because they don't have enough time. I don't know about that. My buddy Tom uh, was going to college full-time and a half when he got started. He only had about 20 minutes a day he could devote to his business, but after a year and a half, it actually started to take off and gain some traction just being consistent. You just gave me words to say to somebody and I've been talking to forever and they're always saying, I don't have the time, I don't have the time, I don't have the time. Well, if nothing changes between now and a year from now, are you ever going to have the time? If nothing changes, exactly. odds are people are going to say no. So uh, my buddy Tom, and there's a lot of other people out there, I man, I can't because I'm a single, uh, I'm, because I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I don't know about that. My fellow coach, Hillary Kelly, is a stay-at-home mom. She's got kids running around all over the place. And she's one of the top earners in Beachbody. She makes so much money that her uh, she tripled her husband's income, and uh, he's able to stay home full time now. And she's like the roles have reversed. Stay at home mom. <laughs> so I think there you I go. Think probably get into this, don't don't you think? You should probably get into this. <laughs> so, so what I'm telling you guys. Um, is to be a collector of stories, get to know these stories. And you know what? It, it really doesn't matter much if you know the person personally or not. If you know the person personally, then I guess it's a little bit better because then you can say, I, I know this person. I didn't copy and paste from an infomercial. Or if you just know the person on Facebook, another advantage of Facebook. Um, most of the people that are in those infomercials, you can find them on Facebook. And then you can say, I know this person. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing. Just get get to know their story and journal it. Keep a journal of success stories, guys. I can't tell you how valuable that is. I keep a journal. I've got thousands of them mm-hmm. now. And then that creates another invitation. Once you get your own success stories, you get to tell people. Um, I, I don't know what, what you're going to do to get the help that you need, but whoever you go to to get this help that you need, make sure this person has a track record of helping other people and not only themselves. Here, let me show you my my resume, I call it. And my resume is just, it's, not, it's nothing to do with status or myself. My resume is just a collection of these success stories, and there's thousands. Of, it's like ridiculously long, and people look at that and they're like, whoa. Let's go. So be a, be a collector of stories. And for now, if you don't have any stories yet, you've got to borrow other people's credibility, leverage other success stories, and you can still tell the stories. Even if you don't know Hillary Kelly, you can say, fellow coach, my fellow Beachbody coach, Hillary Kelly, I don't know about that. She's a single... Um, or she's not single. She's a stay-at-home mom, and uh, she made so much money with her Beachbody income, triple her husband's income, and now he stays home, and the roles are sort of reversed, and she's got kids all over the place. And <laughs> so I, I think that you should probably do what she's doing. Don't you think? Yeah. Whatever, whatever excuse people give you, um, a, a reason that they believe that they can't do this, you should have a success story that says otherwise. So that when you say, "I think you should do this too," don't you think? to have some credibility. Makes sense. Is uh, everybody enjoying all this stuff? Is it starting to make sense? Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Yes. Cool. Absolutely. Awesome. I, I see there's still a lot of people on the call, so that's a good thing. All right. Does uh, anybody have any uh, questions, comments, things that Hopefully I didn't give you guys too much information and confuse anybody because that certainly isn't my intent. <laughs> no, this is real helpful for me. Good. Very helpful. Okay, so, so, so in review, to keep you guys focused on just a couple little things, those three daily core activities on Facebook, if Facebook is your main thing, talk to new people every day, go for at least 10, go for 20, post a success story, give the person props in your own words, post a great question, and the fourth thing I want you to add now is to start sending out those invitations, copy and paste up one. And I'll put it in our uh, 
team thread on the profit group so that you guys have it. You can just start copying and pasting. If you have any trouble at all, just get a hold of us, either privately or post a question in the group, and um, we'll be able to help you guys. It's a, it's a pretty vast resource we've got in that group of all these different people with different talents and experiences. Between this whole group, I think we got all the answers. I really do. Yeah, I think so too. All right. If nobody has anything else, then I'm going to officially end the call. So I'll wait a couple seconds for anyone to speak up if you got anything. No. Personally, okay, thank you, Tom, very much for sure. sharing your ideas and everything with us. I, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. And uh, coaches, I'm also available privately if you need to if you need to talk about something that's maybe more appropriate private. That's, um, I'm, I'm here, so as Melissa and Mike. So on that note, I hope you have a wonderful week. Be focused on those four daily activities now. We're adding invite and um, reach out for help. And um, and uh, don't be don't be inhibited or, or, or shy to come to, to us because we want you guys to to grow. And uh, part of the reason we want you guys to grow, well, one, so that you're growing and you're achieving your own goals, but this is also going to continue to create a great invitation. Remember, stories sell. We can uh, tell um, people that we're inviting that people get in, they're following directions, they're getting paid. It, it creates a powerful invitation, and that's what we have the first month of this group, and that, that's what we're aiming for with um, every, every round, so we can keep on pumping out those invitations and bringing more people in. So uh, let's Let's do it. Have a great week, everyone, okay? Thank you. You too. Thank you. You bet. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Good night.